Hi, today I want to talk about allocating and fulfilling in sales order processing for Microsoft Dynamics GP. I'm in the sales series today and I'm going to go to setup and sales order processing and I want to look at some particular document types. Now the first thing I'm going to do is look at a couple of the invoices. So I'm just going to click on the invoice ID here and I can get to my different invoice options. Now for this standard invoice that we've set up, we've chosen to allocate by line item. That means as I enter each line in to sales order processing, the line item will be allocated automatically. Now allocating is the process of reserving a piece of inventory for a particular order, where fulfilling means you've taken that item out of inventory and you have it ready to ship to that customer or it's in the process of shipping to that customer. So allocating is reserving it and fulfilling it is actually extracting it from inventory and putting it up for this particular order or invoice. Now, so the standard invoice is looking at a line item allocation. We also have a service invoice that's doing it by document or batch number which means that after you enter the order in its or invoice in, in its entirety you can allocate the entire document at one time or it will be included in a batch that you're going to allocate at one time. So let's take a look at entering both kinds of transactions. So I'm going to go to sales transaction entry and first I'm going to leave it as the standard invoice option. And let's put in an invoice for Aaron Fitz Electrical. And we'll call the batch Belinda. Now, I'm going to choose an item that I know I don't have in stock so we can also handle how the uh, shortages would be dealt with as well. So I'm going to select this item for RAM and tab past the quantity. And I have zero available and I have one entered in on this invoice. So it's asking me automatically how do I want to handle it because I'm allocating it as I go along. Meaning I'm actually reserving one of the items in inventory for this particular invoice. So I'll select that I want to override it. And I have a credit limit override and I'll click OK. So this one you can see is there's one item, one being billed, and one fulfilled, meaning I've reserved one in inventory even though my inventory quantity is zero. So let's click Save and this time let's do a service item where we know we're going to be fulfilling the order as an entire order or invoice or by document. Again, I'm going to use Aaron Fitz. I'll keep all other elements the same and I'm going to choose the same item this time. We know we don't have any in stock and we know that the quantity available is a minus one now. So I'm going to tab past that and notice it didn't ask me how to handle the shortage because I'm not fulfilling the item. And if you look here, you can see I have one build and zero fulfilled. So that item is in. Override the credit limit there as well. Now, in this particular case, we would have to fulfill it automatic or fulfill the whole order when we get done or whole invoice when we get done. So I'm going to click on options up at the top, allocate and fulfill, and I'm going to choose to allocate and fulfill at the same time. Remember the difference, I'm just reserving one in inventory and I'm actually filling the order so it could be sent. And I'll click OK. And now it asks me how do you want to handle the shortage. So any item that has a shortage issue, it's going to ask me one by one how do you want to handle it. And I'll override the shortage here. And I'll click on Save. Let me key in one more. I'm going to choose exactly the same options for everything. And the reason I want to do this is I want to do it by batch. So here's the batch. There are three transactions. We know two are completely allocated and fulfilled, and we have one out there that is not. So from here, I can also choose options, allocate or fulfill. Notice it's exactly the same window. I can set my defaults, but it's still going to, um, no exceptions. Let's go back in and pull up our documents and I believe this was the last invoice we did and now you can see it has been fulfilled as well. So that's how you can allocate by line item, 
how you can allocate by document, and how you can allocate by batch. There are two more options available, and those options would be um, allocating in batch, where you can allocate multiple documents across entire batches, and another option is to allocate during the transfer process, and I do want to do this one now. So I'm going to select an order, and I'm going to deliberately choose this particular phone order, and I'll show you why. We'll choose Aaron Fitz. We'll put it in our Linda batch. We'll select that same item. And the reason I'm choosing this one, I'm gonna, you could see this is using, this order uses a document by batch. And when we transfer to an invoice, this particular invoice uses it by line item. So we're gonna take a blended approach here where the order is not allocated. But when we transfer this order to an invoice, it will be allocated. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Actions and Transfer. And I'll transfer it into an invoice. And now you can see it's prompting me, how do I want to handle the shortage? So in other words, it is fulfilling it for me as we go along. So we looked at all the different options today on fulfilling. Fulfilling by line item, fulfilling by document, by batch, we just took a look at the entry screen for how you can fulfill documents among multiple batches, and we fulfilled by transferring. I hope this helps.